Hey everybody, it's Meredith Howell, Regional Director for Visually Impaired Preschool Services um, of Indiana. I am here at the office um, on a Sunday uh, practicing my social distancing. Our VIPS office is are closed in Kentucky and Indiana, but I'm here checking mail, um, checking messages. Actually, I can do that from home, but um, can't check mail from home, hoping that there were some donations in there um, because this is a tough time. Uh, we are still providing virtual home visits to kids across Indiana and Kentucky, um, but you know, like this was supposed to be a big event for us. Um, we only hold, here in Indiana, we only host two fundraisers a year, um, and this is one of them. And so to, we were supposed to open on Friday, March 13th, but that was when things were starting to kind of come to surface as far as the coronavirus and um, you know the recommendations to practice social distancing. So we thought it through and um, decided not to have the opening night. We canceled it. We were thinking at the time we'd probably postpone it, um, but now here we are couple weeks later and it's pretty apparent that this is not stopping anytime soon. With that we wanted to make sure we kept everyone safe so we canceled the event and that means that the world didn't get to see or touch uh, revision and our artists work so hard to create accessible pieces of artwork that um, everybody can enjoy even if they're blind, if they're Visual, you know, have some type of visual impairment or if they have any type of disability or if they don't. Um, it's supposed to be inclusive for all and our artists really take that to heart and I'm so sad that people aren't able to experience this because it's our fifth year. Um, you know, we had a lot of great things planned, especially for opening night. Uh, we had wonderful food vendors that were donating food. Uh, we had Ernest from the Arts Council of Indianapolis. Um, he was going to come and speak, and we had artists that were going to be selling um, other um, things that night. Um, we had, you know, simulator options um, to teach about orientation and mobility and Braille and all sorts of things. But that's okay. We're making sure that we keep people safe, and we are doing the right thing. So uh, with that being said, we're still having a fundraiser and we will be posting uh, pictures of the artwork over the next few weeks. Um, the art, the adult artists will, if something of their sells, then they are so generous that they're donating 50% back to VIPs. Um, if the student artwork sells, then I mean, as much as we are in kind of desperate times we're definitely not going to take money from kids so um, we they get all of their money um, we want to make sure that um, you know these artists are especially these student artists are already thinking about who their audience is when they're creating art um, and that it doesn't have to be visual that there are so many different ways for people to experience art if you just change your perspective a little bit. Very sad because um, the artists work so hard to create such accessible pieces of artwork and uh, we work really hard at VIPS securing sponsors like Post McKinney and Evans, thank you, and the Crystal Dawn Family Foundation and the Indianapolis Washington Township Lions Club and the Delta Gammas. Um, at Indiana University. We were supposed to have great food for opening night. There's our poster that my lovely husband Rob designed. Uh, we had some great food vendors. We had a lot of amazing stuff that was planned for opening night, but we wanted to make sure that we did the right thing. 